so I thought I'd have a go at recording something in the garden for a change rather than indoors. And this is um, a quick intro regarding trying to do some vlog tests with the Olympus uh, EM1 and three lenses, three different lenses. Um, unfortunately, things didn't really pan out in the way I was expecting, so there's a fair bit of chaos. Um, I was debating whether or not to post any of this, to be honest, because it's it's um, it's a bit wacky, but um, see what you think. Uh, some of the conclusions, I'm not sure there are any conclusions really, but we'll come on to um, some testing with the Fujis as well, along a similar vein, or, or at least on the XT20, which I'm filming on now, by the way. Um, also, in amongst the chaos, and obviously I'd possibly taken on more than I um, more than I anticipated in, in testing the M1 in this way, but also, in amongst the chaos, I managed to lose some of the audio, so some of it's on camera audio and some of it's on the Olympus um, digital voice recorder. So it's a bit of a mixed bag all round, really. Let's see what you think. This is a bit of a test to see if the EM1 could actually do something reasonable in terms of video indoors. If, for example, I was looking at a lens like this one, um, is it able to actually track the focus? Um, is it focusing at all? Or is it hunting quite a lot? Now this is the EM1 with the 45mm uh, f1.8 uh, Olympus lens. I've set it at 2 f 2.8 um, and I've set it to continuous autofocus and yeah, I'm just going to see whether it's hunting all over the place. Um, I'm expecting the exposure to be good. Let's see what it can make of the video. We could, for example, yeah, could I even look at something reasonably close up? Could I look at a lens, for example? Will it actually do that? So this is take two. Um, I wonder if my head's actually in the shot here. I'm going to sink down a little bit. I've got a feeling that I may have... S I've set that to 45 as well. Yeah, I think it's 45 now. So this is the lens we were filming on, the Olympus 45. We've now switched over to the 14 to 150. Um, and left it set at, no it's now set at, of course it's not such a fast lens, this one's, I think it's set at 5.5 or where it is, um, and we'll see what the hunt, whether this one's hunting as well, or whether this is good. I'm going to just open up the angle of view a little, and I'm just going to show it this lens up close, see if it can focus on this. And now I'm just going to change the angle of view to bring us down a little bit further. So that's halfway between 25 and 35, doesn't actually tell you what it is. It's down to f5.1 now. So yeah, let's see if I'm in focus at that point, if that will focus on me. And then... Will it track me back to here? Pretty sure that I'll be in the field of view at this point. So, let's see if this is a possibility for video in our home. And, uh, 
Yeah, I might try and. I should probably be shy if I'm talking, shouldn't I? Next, I might also try the Panasonic like a 15, and we'll see how we got on with that one as well. So now we're on the Panasonic Leica 15mm um, set to f2.8 and we'll see how this one performs. I think, you know, I probably prefer the field of view. Obviously, I guess you know, it may or may not work in terms of, you know, focusing on things up close. Lovely piece of Olympus kit. Don't know if it'll focus on that. Let's have a look. And back to me, maybe. Can it focus back on me? Yeah, it's a lovely little lens. See, possibly that's even, yeah, that may even be a vloggable lens on that body, but we'll, we'll try that in another test. For now, let's just see if we can get this. Well, let's see if we can get this working in a stable environment. So this is a quick test of the EM1 with the uh, Panalika 15 mil, just to see if. It's a camera that you could vlog with when you're walking around. So interested to see how stabilisation works. Interested to see um, what the field of view is like. I've got the grip on the camera, so it's actually quite easy to hold it up. So that's not too bad, holding the thing. Um, has it kept me in focus is always a concern. So I've got a feeling that, you know, unless I change the focus point, I need to be pointing this thing right at the face so I'm going to test out some of the Fuji's as well XT20 with um, some autofocus lenses and X-Pro1 to make sure I can get the distance right I've also got a tape measure make sure I can get the distance right for uh, manual focus so let's see how we get on with that as well this is just part one with the Olympus <laughs>